Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create scanograms. So you'll see on screen here I have an image of some scanned objects and they're three-dimensional objects. So I'm going to show you a, a method for obtaining your objects in a scans form and how you can do some simple uh, manipulations and edits using Photoshop. So the first thing you start with is selecting your objects. So we have a, an image here just demonstrating some of the objects you might use. Uh, any objects are fine as long as they're uh, not too big and also not too heavy so they'll fit onto a scanner. You then place your objects onto your scanner, so thinking carefully about your composition. It's recommended as well that you use a, a sheet of acetate underneath your objects to protect the scanner as well from any scratches. But you know, this is an important phase, so take your time uh, and just be, you know, be creative with it. Then you uh, use a pre-prepared box lid that's been painted uh, black on the inside. Now you could paint it different colours but black is particularly effective. Uh, so painting it beforehand and then placing it over the top of your objects and then go through the usual kind of process that you go through with your computer and uh, a program such as Photoshop to scan in your objects. That will give you your outcome and often you'll find that your background um, it, it isn't always that great so you'll find that you might get a few kind of bits in the background if your scanner's not that clean or your background might be, uh, might be quite grey. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you some basic adjustments you can make. So using adjustment palettes, uh, if, if, you, uh, if you can't find adjustments already open, then using the window drop down menu, I'm going to adjustments, we'll open it to, and there's various things here you can try. So nice and simple, you can start with brightness and contrast, so playing with brightness and contrast, so dropping the contrast to, uh, so dropping the brightness to get a nice dark background, contrast to create a greater intensity. Uh, so that's a, one of the things you can try. Um, next one here is levels. And levels you can bring your shadows in. It will make your blacks stronger. Uh, and in this case I might like to bring my highlights in to, to lift the uh, the brightness. You've got mid-tones in the centre as well. You can play around with and tweak. Then we have the curves adjustments. And curves you can click on this line here to uh, adjust your tonal values in various places. Now if you make an S shape for example uh, that will create a greater contrast. Uh, but there's loads of things you can try. Uh, so yeah, be experimental. This is already a, quite an abstract technique. Uh, so play around with it and see how it works. Other things that are particularly successful, I mean you could go black and white, uh, but also you could use hue and saturation or even color balance. Uh, so trying to adjust the hue so you get a different result. Uh, so you can scroll through those and try uh, various colors. Then saturation increase the intensity of the color or drop it down whatever suits your image. So there we go, there's various other things you can try but that's a good starting point. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the technique and thanks for listening.